Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Sarah Starr, and I wanted to show you this gym in Elk Grove. It is gorgeous. I've actually been inside. It's closed today. Um, it's Saturday, but um, we I've been here twice for field trips uh, with my kids, and it's a schoolhouse from 18... 72 founded in 1872 so I believe this was relocated this isn't the original location of the schoolhouse but this is the original schoolhouse you guys and um, there's, there's some plaques I'm gonna show you all around the schoolhouse it is so fun it's it, I love this place like I've come twice like I said with my two daughters um, and I'm gonna come next year with my, my other daughter she's right over here uh, we do this for third grade field trips and um, you dress in the uh, attire that you would have worn back in 1872. It's so, so cool. So um, let me go ahead and show you a little bit around and um, I'll show you how beautiful this building is. Okay, so I wanna go ahead and show you the front of the schoolhouse first because this is so gorgeous. Um, and okay, so we've, uh, oh, it's just so pretty. So as you can see, they have it closed right now and they have a little cute sign that says Rhodes School. And there's the plaque, it's over there, that's the bell. There's the plaque right here. I'm gonna show you that in a moment. Um, so I'm gonna show you how gorgeous this architecture is. I just love the simplicity of this schoolhouse. I love, look at the windows, um, look at the beautiful arches above the windows, look at the, like, the double doors to go to school. How gorgeous is that? Like I, there's just such charm in these old, old, historical buildings and 1872 so this is a Victorian style um, and I just I don't know I just I feel like I, I've been inside and there's rows of if I can find pictures from my album I will include them in here from when I came in here on a field trip um, they have really cool um, rows of like the original desks in there and there's a blackboard at the end of the like towards the back and it's let me just uh, take you around the building now so you can see more of this architecture it's gorgeous and it's really um, like I said it's really a gym for Elk Grove I think this is just absolutely <laughs> beautiful so I'm going around the schoolhouse you can see it's not very big um, and I don't remember how many students would be um, in here you know per school day like but look at the look at this you guys this is you can kind of see inside I'm gonna zoom in can see inside the windows it well it's dark but you can kind of see the other side of the window back there do you see the other window on that side through that this window um, and again the arches above the schoolhouse simply gorgeous um, and the old roof let me go ahead and show you some more I'm walking around I'm gonna show you the back of the building you can kind of see I'm gonna see if I can see anything in through the windows yeah, you can see right there in the window some of the benches. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. You see those benches right there? Let's see if I can get that in view. Okay. And you can see it's lifted off the foundation. I just noticed that this time. I've been here several times before, and I'm now just noticing, noticing that. I don't know what that is. I think that's just a... I don't know if that's the original outhouse you guys I kind of doubt it but it might be it might be because you know obviously they didn't have bathrooms in the um, schoolhouse back in 1872 like plumbing so there's the back let me go ahead and go around and show you going all the way around the schoolhouse I love it oh and there's a geese sitting on top of the roof back there oh and they actually have um, so you come here and they actually uh, I don't know if, if anybody can book this, but you actually get to pretend like you're here on an actual school day. They have a t uh, person who plays the part of a teacher back then, and she dresses in um, the clothing that would have been back in the day. Let me go back to the front of the uh, school and I'll uh, tell you more about that. Look at how pretty it looks in the sunlight, you guys. The sun's starting to set. Look at how gorgeous this is. You can see all the parking over here as well. Lots of parking. Oh, 
also I want to show you I don't know how old this fence is but it's so so cute so I want to show you oh and this bell I meant to show you this let me show you this bell let me see if I can read what it says oh this is the school bell you guys so they would ring this when school would get out that's what it is or I think when school started so look at the original school bell you guys like it's not an intercom like we have now it's actually a school bell and the top I see some font on the top of that bell let me see if I can read it with my camera here it does say something up there. I can't quite make that out. And let me see if I can zoom down here and read that with you guys here. There we go. Lester C. Ledbetter, who preserved the school bell from the Wilson School, donated by William Ledbetter and Melba O'Mosher. Uh, in memory of Lester C. Ledbetter. So this is an original school bell, you guys. I mean, and I've heard it chime that they did do this when we were here on the field trip. It sounds so awesome. Super loud, of course, but um, super cool. And I just love, love it all. So again, here is another view of the side of the schoolhouse. Look at the, just how simple the roof is, but how beautiful like the second roof from that one is. It's just, oh, the, uh, I love it all. And the, it's just so beautiful. This sign is so cute road schoolhouse but I mean look at just it's, it's so pretty the picnic benches lots of parking lots of parking you can see the parking lot has tons and tons of parking so there's a uh, public restrooms over in the back over back there Okay, so I'm back in the front of this gorgeous road school house. And um, do you see, I just noticed now, I don't know why I didn't notice before, but do you see how it has the two little benches in the front? I think that is so charming. I just love this schoolhouse so much. It's so like close to my heart. I don't know, I just love the Victorian architecture of it. I love the simplicity of this way the schoolhouses used to be. Like, I don't know, I just, I love it all. Like, I wish schools, Kind of look like this still but like you know obviously they'd have to be bigger but i just love the victorian architecture so much it's my favorite uh uh architecture period so let me go ahead and um show you the um the, look at the little pavers to the little schoolhouse let me go ahead and show you the little uh monument they have in the front of the school okay so right in front of the school directly in front of the school they place this monument and it says i'm going to try to read it to you guys um i hope it's showing in the camera it says, Road School completed 1872, located on the west side of Sheldon Road, now called Slough House Road, two miles south, south of the Jackson Road. Replaced first Road School, located north side near Levy of Consumnes River, next to Road's southwest property line. School authorized by Jared Dixon Sheldon to provide schooling for area children. Said to be named for John Pierce Rhodes, member of Donner Rescue Parties. Oh, that's right, you guys. I just remembered that. Seized Operation 1867 for reasons unknown. Funds and students transferred to Union School next district south during the interim. New school funds raised by subscri subscriptions within districts district operated until June 1946 when Rhodes, Michigan, Barr, Stonehouse, and Wilson districts combined to form Consumnes River Union School District. Moved to present site May 19, seven, uh, excuse me, May 19, 1976. Um, dedicated by Liberty Parlor number 213, Native Daughters of the Golden West and Elk Grove Parlor number 41, Native Sons of the Golden West, July 4th, 1977. So this schoolhouse was um, in um, like working as a schoolhouse from 1872 to 1946. Um, so, you see that right up there it says 1872 by the bears to 1946 so yeah so it was originally in another location and they moved it over here um but oh my gosh you guys i just wanted to just take a moment and show you this uh we went to the elk grove regional park today which is back behind the schoolhouse here and uh, they have a pond it's just a gorgeous area to be and um we we passed this to go into the elk grove regional park which is back there way back there and uh, i had to just show you guys how gorgeous the schoolhouse is so I'm gonna do one more little um, tour and then I will close this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this video so let me go ahead and um, show you a little bit more so you can see here's the parking lot they have a nice amount of parking for um, 
for cars like if you come to visit over there is a bunch of parking back there um, so yeah lots of places to park there's even parking over here in front of the schoolhouse all right here um, so there is plenty of parking and um, yeah I just oh here's this side of the schoolhouse I didn't show you this side let me show you this side the right side of the schoolhouse so it's you know symmetrical completely the same obviously design on both sides again it's a lifted foundation and um, it's really fun. And when we came here for the field trips, the, uh, my daughter got to sit here uh, on her field trip with her class and they got to eat a, a lunch that would have been back in this, the 1872. We actually had to replicate kind of like what they would have brought for lunch. And um, I packed my daughter's lunch with like mason jars for her water. And I wrapped her sandwich in wax paper, like stuff that they would have used back in 1872 instead of just current like sandwich bags and that type of thing. It was really, really nostalgic and really fun. Friends, so I hope you guys enjoyed this walk through little outside tour. I know we weren't able to go inside the road schoolhouse, but again, I hope you enjoyed this little kind of history. Oh my gosh, I just adore this school house and anytime I'm over in this area I love to just like see it I like I just love it it's just beautiful and I feel like I'm back in 1872 like literally even not even being inside like I've mentioned I feel like I'm in 1872 just standing here being in this presence of this gorgeous gorgeous building so anyways thank you so much for watching if you're new to my channel I would love if you would subscribe and my returning family thank you again so very much for being here and for everybody for being here so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and close this video I think I'm gonna look around a little bit more at this gorgeous building and I'll see you tomorrow. Right guys? Okay. Take care. God bless. See you very soon. Bye-bye.